Hello, I'm Dr. Benjamin Norris from the Chemistry Department at Frostburg State University. In this video, I'm going to go over phenol nomenclature. I'm going to start with the structure of phenol. Phenol is this compound. It, it's a, an aromatic ring, a benzene ring, with an alcohol on it. And this name phenol um, kind of deviates from the, the typical way of naming alcohol, so it's not benzenol. Uh, it turns out that the phenol name and a lot of the names of, of benzene derivatives have precursors to the IUPAC, or are precursors to the IUPAC system, or and were in such common use that they were adopted as uh, appropriate names in the IUPAC system. And so we name phenols as molecules that are derivatives of phenol, and we always number the phenol starting at one where the alcohol is. And so just to do a couple of quick examples, if I have phenol and another functional group here like a chlorine, I would number this one for the alcohol and two for the chlorine. And this would be two chlorophenol. And it's pretty straightforward. And if I have another example, I'll draw something a little different here. One number towards the other functional group, three. Right, here's three ethyl phenol. And the phenol is always at position one, so there's no need to say two chloro, one phenol, or three ethyl, one phenol. And even um, substituted phenols that are much more structurally complex. So they have a couple of functional groups on them. We can handle these things exactly the same way. Uh, here we want to make sure we are numbering the ring to generate the lowest possible combination. So we number towards the closer substituent. So this is, the bromine is going to be at 2 and the isopropyl group is at 5. If I had a number towards the isopropyl, we'd have had 3, 6, which is, is not the lower combination. But this is 2 bromo, 3 isopropyl phenol. Oh, phenol. Okay. And really that's all there is to the nomenclature of phenols. Uh, obviously, in nomenclature, things get more complicated quickly, but, but phenols are pretty straightforward. All right, so this video is going to be relatively short. Thank you for watching.